All right, uh, so the series is getting a bit long. I think we'll just simplify the interface and all the, uh, the saving and all that. So how it'll work is you'll just click start. It'll do all that spawning the planets and stuff. Play through the level until you hit Earth, and then it'll bring you back to the main menu. Or maybe like a restart menu or something like that. So nice and simple. We won't have to do any saving or any of that. So let's start out with a 3D, 2D UI. Uh, so we'll just add a panel in here. I like to keep it all in the same scene. So we're just going to disable that once the game starts. And we'll call this the lobby. Since there's nothing in the scene right now, we'll want that to be not transparent. So we'll just set the alpha to that. And then we'll just make some UI elements. So let's do a let's do a panel for the title. So we'll put this one a little higher up, change the color. And yeah, that can make it solid, not too solid. Just like that. <clears throat> so we'll call that one title panel. And we'll get some text. And just parent it on there. Bring the transform so it matches up. And then we'll center it here in the middle and down. Just bump up the font size a bit. Go a little bigger, I think. We'll call this planets. Not actually sure what the game's going to be called yet. So that works for that. Let's get our start button. And we'll call this one start. So that will change the actual text. There we go. So you're going to press that. It's going to start the game. And maybe just an exit button. Put that one below. Just rename it to exit. And exit. All right, so you load in, you have your game name, you have your start function, and you can exit. So that'll just be what we'll use for now.